Hello internet allies, how are you doing? So, last week was my birthday, another year older. Yeah, kind of still stuck in quarantine, unfortunately, which sucks, you know, especially for my birthday, you know, because I just really wish I could go and see my friends and stuff. Um, but today I wanted to kind of share with you guys, like, my biggest insecurity, especially about, like, getting older. Okay, I might have spoken about this quite a bit on my YouTube channel, but probably not as candid and explicit as I am going to talk about it today. My biggest insecurity is that I've never had a romantic or sexual relationship. And yeah, that kind of scares me, especially as I'm getting older. And that kind of makes me feel kind of bad about getting older and stuff like that. And makes me feel like a lot more insecure about getting older. I just wish it was kind of like a bit more socially acceptable for people my age to not have experienced those things and stuff like that. I mean, it's definitely not by choice. It's definitely not through lack of trying. It kind of feels weird making a YouTube video about this because I don't really feel comfortable talking about like my biggest insecurity about like not ever having a romantic or sexual relationship. Like, I don't really feel comfortable talking about that to anyone really, to be honest. Like, you know, not my friends, not my family, no one really that I can think of. And yeah, maybe making this YouTube video will help me to basically feel a little bit better about this insecurity. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about why not having a romantic or sexual relationship is my biggest insecurity. But I also wanna talk a little bit about why I haven't had a romantic or sexual relationship yet. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about what I can maybe do to make me myself feel a bit better about this. So yeah, here we go. So yeah, it's gonna be quite tricky, like kind of overcoming this insecurity, especially now we're in quarantine because like it's a lot harder now than ever to really like go out and meet people and stuff like that because really you're not really supposed to do that. Hopefully quarantine will be lifted soon, however, and hopefully like soon after, I will be able to find a romantic relationship like because I feel like it's just way overdue in my life and I feel like now more than ever I'm ready for a romantic relationship and more importantly I deserve one. Hi, so yeah, change of clothes, a couple of little afterthoughts. My biggest insecurity may not sound like a huge deal to a lot of people and I know that like I'm quite lucky in that regard that I don't have like insecurities that are like a lot more serious in what my insecurity is but I still think it matters to me and you know, it still does make me feel quite insecure at the same time. So another thing that makes me feel a little bit better about never being in a romantic or sexual relationship yet is that I'd much rather be in that situation than be like a creep, a predator, you know, somebody that's been abused or anything like that, or somebody ha has like a bad reputation of like kind of having lots of different partners and stuff. Why is it my biggest insecurity that I've never experienced a romantic or sexual relationship? I think it's to do with like kind of society in general. I think like it's kind of like sometimes like frowned upon if like you reach like your mid twenties and you haven't experienced like, you know, a romantic or sexual relationship or anything like that. Yeah, which kind of sucks really to be perfectly honest. You know, I kind of wish that wasn't really the case. I just wish people could just like take their time with things and stuff like that. Also, you know, it feels like, you know, like everybody else that's my age, like people that are even younger than me, like have experienced like romantic relationships. Like some of them are like even married, engaged, etc. Like, so yeah, that can make me feel quite insecure and stuff. I also feel like I compare myself like a lot to other people, like thinking, oh, why are they experiencing like all this relationship stuff and I can't basically and stuff like that. It kind of sucks really, to be honest, you know, like, and yeah, it doesn't make me feel great. I'm not gonna lie. So moving on to basically why I feel I haven't experienced a romantic or sexual relationship yet. To be honest, I feel like I could like, name like a lot of things I could use as excuses, but that wouldn't really be fair to be honest. I do struggle with my high functioning autism and stuff like that, so that might be a factor, even though that it's not unheard of for autistic people to experience like romantic and sexual relationships, but it, 
it can be quite a barrier for them. By the way, I'm not really the type that kind of uses like online dating apps and stuff like that really, to be honest. Like I find that quite scary to be honest. You know, it's like that whole like stranger danger thing. Um, yeah, I, I don't really like using them to be honest. Like I tried like downloading like Tinder last year for like about five minutes and I hated it. <laughs> and I'd like instantly delete. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really that kind of person who goes for like casual like hookups and stuff like that because I think like I think I just get like too emotionally attached to people to be honest to like do that. I feel like looking back like to basically my time at college and stuff like that, like you know when I was in my teens I don't really feel like I was really ready for like a relationship back then, like looking back, even though, you know, it's something I've wanted my entire life pretty much for as long as I can remember. Yeah, but thinking about like how I was back when I was at college, I was super socially anxious. I think I was kind of like at that time, like kind of like learning a lot of like social skills and stuff like that. So I really wasn't ready at that point. Moving on a few years and stuff like that, like last year, like I experienced like my first proper crush on somebody. Um, unfortunately, that didn't really work out and stuff like that. And that's all I'll really say about that. However, like that experience did help me to see the good in myself and help me to realize that I would be good in a romantic relationship because I do feel like I do go above and beyond for the people I care about. Just going back to the whole crush thing, like, you know, I don't didn't really want to stop talking to them just because, like, they didn't really feel the same way about me, so we're still friends and whatnot. So, yeah, I kind of just wanted to keep it that way and stuff like that. I think, like, for me, like, it does take me a while to feel comfortable around people and to basically develop those feelings for said person. So yeah, so now what can I do to basically make the situation better or make myself feel a little less insecure about this situation? I mean, first things first, I mean, I made this YouTube video, which is great. I think this has kind of helped make me feel better, better really, to be honest. Second thing is like, you know, actually going out there and meeting somebody, meeting new people, like trying to find like an event where I can meet new people and stuff like that. I mean, definitely when I get out of quarantine, like, you know, I do want to like try some new things, you know, meet some new people, go to more like local events and stuff. I do genuinely think that there is somebody out there for me, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I don't really feel like I am destined to be alone for the rest of my life. However, I do feel like I'm destined to basically only be in one relationship. Like, I feel like that's probably going to be what's gonna happen. I think another thing I'm gonna to say to make myself feel better, so if I was to turn the situation on its head where like I was somebody else who knew a person who had never experienced a romantic or sexual relationship or was even dating somebody who had never experienced those things, I don't think that would make me think any less of them to be honest. If I found out that like somebody I was dating hadn't had like any romantic or sexual relationships, I think that would make me respect them more and and make me feel kind of more relaxed and stuff like that. Like, you know, that I can like take things at a pace kind of thing. You know, it doesn't need to be like all in one go. I don't need to like move too fast with that person or whatever. You know, things can just kind of go at the pace that we're comfortable with and we're ready with and stuff like that. I'm definitely more of like a relationship person than, you know, a casual person. So, so yeah, I'm not really that kind of person who would like rush into a relationship. I'm not that kind of person who would just kind of like go for anybody that would have me. Like, you know, I would have to like be with the right person, to be honest. Like, I mean, may maybe I am picky, I don't know. May maybe I am picky, like, but that's that's fine. That that's, that's my problem really, to be honest. So yeah, thanks very much guys for watching. Um, please help me feel a little bit better about my biggest insecurity, please. It would really mean a lot. Um, I hope you're having a nice day anyway, and until next time, keep smiling. Bye.